Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, Bea. Hello, Jorge. Hello. How are you today? I feel happy. I think you're muted, Bea. I can't hear you. Ahora? Now? No, I can't hear you. Well, while you fix that, welcome to another class here at Inglés Corporativo. And today, guys, we're going to do a review, okay? Um, try it again, Bea, to see if it works. Hola. Nada. Uh, Ahora sí. Ya, no. Give me a sec. Yo, yo sí le escucho. Ajá. Uh -huh. Try it again. Ahora? It was me. <laughs> yeah, it was my no, pero sí se escucha bien. ¿Verdad que sí? O sea, ahorita, según a mí me sale que estoy con, con el audio. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> it was my speaker. Oopsie, sorry. So, hello, Gracias. Selena, also. <laughs> so, today, guys, remember that I mentioned that we were going to work with the phonemes. ¿Se acuerdan que les mencioné que vamos a trabajar con los phonemes? Yes. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, desafortunadamente, we won't be able to do it throughout the session, okay? Because part of the schedule of the program is that we have to finish up with a review, okay? Tenemos que terminar con un review, y eso es lo que vamos a hacer ahora. However, sin embargo, I'm going to help you anyways, but not through okay. the class. I'm going to work, we're going to work that through the WhatsApp group, okay? As something extra. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So, did every one of you finish the the test? Yes, finish. Yes. All of you? Yes. All right. I finished. Very good. And I guess with 100%, right? Sure. Fantastic. That's good. <laughs> All right, guys. So, let me go ahead and share the screen with you. And here... We have the sections, okay? Now, let's go with adverbs of frequency. Can anybody tell me when to use adverbs of frequency? Alguien me puede decir cuándo ocupar los adverbs de frecuencia? Para referirse a como a, 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 tie, a canti, como cuánto tiempo, cuánto. Uh, almost, when we almost can there. talk about short time. Hmm. Almost. Let me see. How often do you take a shower? Uh, every day. Are you sure? I take a shower <laughs> every day. <laughs> every day. Every time. Every day. Very good. Every morning. So, remember, guys, that we are going to use adverbs of frequency to talk about the frequency that we do an action. Okay? So, for example, how often do we take a shower? Every day. Todos los días. Okay? So, yes. real quick, who can give me an example with always? Always. Mm -hmm. I always wake up at 6 a.m. Okay, fantastic. What is the meaning of always, guys? Siempre. Siempre, very good. So... We're going to try to do this, this a little bit quick, guys. Now, vamos a tratar de hacer un poquito rápido para que podamos terminar el review. Quiero que sepan okay. cuándo ocupar cada uno de los temas y cómo ocuparlos. So, voy a ver con casi todos los que podamos cubrir para que se ocupa. Ustedes me dicen y me dan un par de ejemplos. Si alguien okay. no entiende muy bien, no se preocupen, para eso estamos acá. Pero por favor, menciónenlo para que le podamos ayudar y no se queden en blanco. All right? Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So, how do you say a veces? Sometimes. Sometimes. Nunca? Never. Uh, never. Never. Very good. Um, how do you say, yo nunca me levanto tarde? I never. 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 I never
never get up early. Wake, early. Wake, uh, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Early. Early. Tarde. Tarde. Late. Ah, late. late. Ah, late. <laughs> I never wake up late. Very good. How do you say, ¿Qué tan seguido estudias inglés? How often do you study English? How often do you study English? Study English. Correct. How often do you study English? All right. Um, let me see, Moises, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Using this part right here. Okay. How often do you study English? I study English every day. Fantastic. Are you sure? Yes, okay. absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Let me see, Janira, can you hear me? Jenny? Can you hear me? All right, let's give it a try. Janira, how often do you swim? I sometimes swim. Okay, very good. Good job. I'm just making sure that everyone knows what we're doing. All right, so no questions with adverse of frequency? Uh, no. No? Are you sure? Yes. All right. So let's go ahead and close that one. Let's move to... Where is it? 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 Give me a second. Questions with how and short answers. When do we use a question with how, guys? When do we use the questions with how? When, when we, when we, when we want a short answer. Hmm. With how? When, uh, Everyone can participate, guys. When we want to give the machine for us. We will want to give or we want to ask for more information? Ask, well, ask for more information. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So, William, can you hear me? Yes. All right, perfect. How do you say, ¿Qué tan bueno eres hablando inglés? Um, who are you really Again? Who, who are you good to speak in English? Here, you have it right here. How good are you speaking English? There you go. How good are you speaking English? Fantastic. Now, let me see what it says. Please okay. ask Roxanne. ¿Cuánto tiempo se tarda en ir al trabajo? Okay. Eh, how long do you how uh, how long do you do you spend to go to work okay very good no. yeah yes. yeah it's good uh, how long okay. do you spend going to work could be going uh, okay how long do you spend or how long do you take either or okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Two hours a day. Really? Solo de ir al trabajo en la mañana por el tráfico. Oh, that's a long time. Jesus Christ. Yep. That's a long time. So you must really okay. like your job. Horrible. Right? Horrible. All right. Fantastic. So guys, vamos a tratar de hacer esto un poquito más animado. Okay? So... Vamos a dedicarle ocho minutos a cada sesión, ¿ok? And I wanted to... Voy a abrir los grupos, ¿ok? Para hacerlo más dinámico. Y en la sesión 1 necesito que se pregunten o que se digan en quién y que entre ustedes se ayuden. ¿Claro? No, casi no. No, uh, we are. No, I see.
All right. All right, there we go. So, this is what I need you to do, guys. ¿Cuáles son los temas de, el, de la parte número uno? Tenemos intonation. Tenemos también questions with how. Tenemos también adverbios de frecuencia. ¿Seguros que nadie tiene ninguna pregunta con eso? No. Nadie? Ok, so let's go to section two. With section two we have simple past. We have simple past and the past of be, the verb to be. ¿Alguien tiene una pregunta en cuanto a pronunciación? ¿Cómo ocupar el pasado simple? Mm -hmm. All right, very good. So let's put it in practice. Give me just a second. Let's do this for us. All right, so I wanted to check this out and, I, and please take a screenshot. We're gonna practice with simple past. Here, read it with me. When was the last time you went shopping? When, when was, was the, last, the time last time you, you went, went shopping? shopping. When, shopping. Mm -hmm. when was the last time you went shopping? When was the last time you traveled by train? When, when was the last was time, the last you, time traveled you traveled by train? By train? By train? When was the last time? When you was, the last time? was the last time? When was the last time? Mm -hmm. You cleaned your homework. You did your you homework. Did your homework. Mm -hmm. Okay, you very good. So, this is what we're going to do, guys. Acá, como pueden ver, tenemos bastantes preguntas. ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que tuviste una fiesta? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que discutiste con tus padres? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que te cortaste el pelo? In my case, um, I don't know, like, the last time I cut my hair, it was like a month and a half ago. And Gio, perhaps like three or four years. <laughs> when was yeah. the last time you lost money? And here you can choose the questions and you can talk. The last time, because I need long answers. The last time I lost money, it was last yeah. year in a concert. My girlfriend and I lost like $20 and we were very sad. It was a in the Los Angeles Los Angeles Del Infierno concert. Yeah. <laughs> some money. <laughs> All right. Very good. So is it clear? I was there. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. <laughs> so take a screenshot, send it, and answer these questions. How do you say cuando fue la última vez que pintaste tu casa? When was the last time you painted your house? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. When was the last time you were scared? Because when you were scared. When was the last time you were scared? Very good. For men, that's going to be a very difficult question to answer, okay? Mm. When was the last time you danced? When was the last time you was the last time to dance? There you go. So you're going to start. <laughs> Asking these questions, and I'm going to be visiting the chat. So you can practice the past tense, okay? Okay. All right, very good. I'll be visiting you. Just a minute, please. There we go. Please accept the invite. All right, so we're just missing Laura, Roxy, Gio to accept the invite. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and join the rooms to see how they're doing. Jorge, when was the last time when you sleeping early? 
the last time I listened early to was was two weeks ago. Was two weeks was. ago. Mm -hmm. And you could add more information. Um, porque tenía que ir a trabajar, porque tal cosa. So try to give long answers. Okay. Okay. Uh, Gio. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you went on a date? You went? I went on a date. Yes. And the last time I went on a day was in uh -huh. 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah, with my wife. <laughs> and, and it was in a concert too. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Continue, guys. Continue. Uh, Moises, okay. when was when was the last time uh, you you cooked? You cooked. You cooked. Cook. Cook. Uh, it was uh, Let me see. Two hours. I made the dinner. The dinner. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see. Okay, William. When, when was the last time you borrowed a book? Um, the last the last week. The last week um, because I I have a homework. I, I had homework. I had homework. Uh, mm -hmm. okay. Homework, guys, is an irregular plural. You don't say oh. homework, you just say homework. Okay. No le ponemos plural. All right, okay. you're doing good, guys. So I'm going to check on the other group. Make sure that you provide long answers, okay? Traten de, de poner las, las respuestas largas, lo más complejo que se pueda. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Hey. Mm. Jorge. Del. Jorge. Okay. When was okay. the last time you you drank coffee? Ahí va a responder con I was. I uh -huh. was. Uh -huh. Ajá. Porque esta vez te pregunta en pasado. Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces sería I, I was. Did my homework on Saturday. I, I, I was in my homework I on did. Sunday. So I, I did. Interrupt. Ajá. You need to say I did my homework. Aquí no podemos mezclar el was porque. ¿Verdad que no? El was y el did no. Solamente el. Pero, ¿cómo se contestaría? Vaya, por ejemplo, en este, eh, es que estamos confundidas. Eh, when was the last time you went shopping? ¿Cómo se contestaría? It depends. If you want to give it long or short. You can say, the last time I went shopping was, y ahí lo mezclamos. The last mm -hmm. time I went shopping was two weeks ago. Was yesterday. No puede ser, I was, uh, ¿cómo fue que dije? I, I was, was, yesterday went shopping. No. Se puede no. responder de esa forma. I went shopping yesterday, yes. I, pero, ayer, ¿cómo dijo? I went shopping. I went shopping yesterday. Ah, o sea, no se puede ah. mezclar con el was. Depende, es lo que les, de, lo que les uh -huh. explico que... Ustedes lo pueden poner, por ejemplo, si repetimos la pregunta, 
tenemos que ponerle el was, porque el was está en la pregunta. Pero si nada más queremos responder, entre comillas, de una manera corta, le podemos decir nada más, I went shopping yesterday. Yes, I was. No, solo es, Yes, I, I was. No. All right, very good. Uh -huh. I went shopping yesterday. Por ejemplo, fui a comprar ayer. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I ya, ya, ya recordé, ya recordé, dice, por ejemplo, dice, how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo tu fin de semana? It was great. It was great. Entonces, mi fin de semana estuvo grandioso. Exacto. Pero entonces, ahí es donde yo me había confundido porque eh, el did ya es el pasado de lo que estoy respondiendo. Entonces, pero no puedo pronunciar el was did, sino que mm. nada más did okay. o was. Lo que pasa es que did, did, did es auxiliar. Exacto. Did es el pasado de do. Y ahí funciona como auxiliar. So, son cosas diferentes. Por ejemplo, cuando nosotros preguntamos Venga, tome. Did you go to, did you go to school? Fuiste a clase. Did you yes. go? El did yes. es auxiliar y el go es el verbo principal. El verbo principal. Uh -huh. Y el otro es otra estructura, ¿ok? Con did you go ocupamos sujeto, el verbo to be. Perdón, vamos a, vamos a hacer con did antes de, de chubularme. Sujeto, verbo en pasado, cualquier verbo y el complemento. ¿Ok? Eat, drink, sleep, jump. Pero si queremos ocupar el verbo to be, estabas triste anoche, ahí ocupamos el was o el where. Were you sad last night? Yes, I was. So, tenemos dos, guys. El pasado del verbo to be, que es was and where. Objeto, was and where, complemento. Y tenemos did, que es para todos los otros verbos. No sé si me estoy dando a entender. ¿O están confundidas? Por mí, por mí estoy bien, porque ya, ya recordé que aquí es eh, el when, ya está en pasado de go. Exacto. Pero ya no puedo uh -huh. decir eh, eh, was when. Exacto. De la, de ah, time, ya me acordé. De la hasta de when I went, o de la hasta de when I went to the shopping. Uh -huh. ah, pues sí. no, ya. No, lo que pasa es que si va el was, no va el verbo en... en... Si va, no, si va el did, el verbo va en presente, ¿verdad? Exacto. Y si va el was, y entonces el eh, no verbo... Llevo, ahí ya no lleva verbo. Cuando mm. ocupamos el was, ahí ya no lleva verbo porque el verbo to be... Es, es el, el pasado. Que estamos con es el pasado. Uh -huh. ya, ya recordé. Y también te decía, uh -huh. yo estoy ocupando el was, entonces decía, I was watching TV. Uh -huh. Cabal. Sí. Ajá, no se puede mezclar el was con el when por, por, el, por los tiempos. Exacto. O sea, siempre es pasado. It's always past. Pero estamos con dos estructuras entre comillas diferentes. El pasado solo con el verbo to be. ¿Cómo se dice yo era feliz? I was happy. I was happy. Estamos happy. conjugando el verbo ser. Yo era. Ok. Um, how do you say María estaba triste? María was, 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 was uh, uh, sad. Sad, exacto. So, como, usted, como se pueden ver, estamos conjugando el verbo ser, estar, parecer. Y eso es nuestro verbo principal. Uh -huh. Solo lo ocupamos para eso. ¿Cómo, tú, okay. cómo, decíamos, cómo decimos, quiero ver... Yo era delgado, la triste historia. ¿Qué? I was, I I was, was pink. I was pink. pink. I was pink. Yo I was pink. Siempre en aquellos. ¿Ok? Mucho. A long, long time ago. So, si se fijan, ahí estamos conjugando el verbo to be, es el principal. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. hey, estamos, okay. Si nos preguntas sí. con was... O sea, si nos preguntan con el verbo to be, contestamos con el verbo to be. Si nos preguntan con did, contestamos con el verbo que está siendo ocupado. Uh -huh. De nuevo, con una pregunta. A ver si, si hemos entendido. Try again. Um, 
When was the last time you danced? Very good, uh -huh. good pronunciation. Go ahead, guys. I'm gonna answer it first. Say it again, repeat the question, please, Yesenia. When was the last time you danced? Okay, tenemos dos maneras de contestar. The last time I danced. I, I was danced. I was danced. No, se, no podemos mezclar el was con el dance. Por eso voy acá. The last time I danced. La última vez que eh, bailé. Was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. La última vez que bailé, estamos ocupando el verbo con el que nos preguntan. Uh -huh. Fue, por eso que ocupo was. Ahí uh -huh. es que estamos uniendo dos oraciones. O simplemente podemos decir, when was the last time you danced? Two weeks ago. When was the last time you ate pupusas? Yesterday. A few minutes. A few minutes ago, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, el, el punto es que ustedes practiquen estas largas. The last time I ate pupusas. Y simplemente repiten lo que está en la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Last night. Fue ayer. Mm -hmm. Va igual que en el español. La última vez que comí pupusas fue, y aquí es donde viene el was, yesterday. Pero jamás mm -hmm. podemos poner danced, por ejemplo, con was. Mm -hmm. El was se ocupa con when, where, what, ¿verdad? Y el did es con pregunta. Es cuando empieza la pregunta en pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, no. Ok. Sí, no. El did son para preguntas de sí o no. Did you take a shower? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. No, I did. Ok. Hey, a ti, Mateo. And las preguntas WH, que son what, where, why, las podemos ocupar con cualquier tiempo gramatical. Uh -huh. ¿Por qué vas okay. a ir a la fiesta? ¿Por qué fuiste a la fiesta? ¿Por qué estás yendo a la fiesta? O sea, puede ser con cualquier tipo de programa. Son preguntas de más información. Uh -huh. okay. ¿Es, ¿Es esto demasiado complicado, guys? No, ya, no. ya, ya, ya. Ok, tratemos. Quiero ver que es más o menos claro. Y solo lo vamos a lograr con la práctica. Eh, por ejemplo, eh, Did you did you work hard yesterday? Uh -huh. Yes, I did. Yes, yes I, I did. did. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Exactly. Uh, Esas son preguntas de sí o no. Uh -huh. Ahora pregúntele por qué trabajaste duro ayer. <laughs> why do you work hard? To, why do you work uh, uh, hard yesterday? Why did you work hard yesterday? Exacto. Es la misma estructura de las preguntas de sí o no, solo que antes de eso le ponemos el WH. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. um, ¿Cómo trabajaste duro ayer? ¿Cómo trabajaste ayer? ¿Cómo? How. Exacto. How. 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 How did work? 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 How did did work? work? When did you work? So, as you can see, guys, es la misma estructura. Solo que le agregamos el WH al principio y le cambia uh -huh. el resultado totalmente. Uh -huh. Continue. Come on. I want to see what you do in this area. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Veamos. When was... The last time 
Eh, you drank a coffee. Okay. Ahí mm. pueden repetir. The last time I drank coffee. I drank coffee was. was a, I drank coffee yesterday. The last time we had drunk coffee. Vale, ¿Están viendo la imagen de, las, de la pregunta? Sí, ajá, exactamente. Uh -huh. vale, sí. Vamos a hacer eso. Vamos a, a decir la pregunta. Si se fijan, todos uh -huh. tienen When was the last time you? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Sí. Vale, entonces, hagamos la pregunta. When was the last time you lost money? Entonces, when vamos a contestar de la siguiente manera. Quitémosle el was y quitémosle el when. Entonces vamos a contestar The last time, the last time, I, time I, I lost money, money, lost money was, was y ahí le metemos el cuando, el time expression. Was, was time I Sunday, lost was Sunday. Uh -huh. Sunday, a few days. Uh -huh. y, ahí uh -huh. podemos, y ahí necesito que agreguen más información. The last time I lost money was Sunday. O sea que el you se está refiriendo a algo mío, propio, o sea, yo. Sí, porque le está preguntando tú, tú perdiste el dinero, entonces, si es a ti, entonces te, tenés que contestar, sí, yo lo perdí hace tres días, o no, no lo perdí. Exacto. Oh, okay. Lo que a mí me pasó, teacher, es de que eh, esta forma de responder no la conocía. La había visto de otra manera. Porque el was generalmente siempre lo había utilizado al inicio de la estructura de la oración. Y aquí va casi llegando al final de la, de la oración. Uh -huh. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y eso Entonces, es lo bonito de es que siempre vamos a tener algo nuevo. Algo nuevo que aprender. Exacto. Uh -huh. Y es lo que me gusta. Uh -huh. No me gusta que la gente se quede con lo básico. Siempre me gusta tirarles un poquito más. Uh -huh. Para que desoxidemos el cerebro. Ex. Podría haber sido. All right, guys. Um, give it a try. Continúen. Pero recuerden, vamos a contestar. The last time I... Uh -huh. Let's give it a try. Uh, When was the last time you danced? Vamos a contestar cómo. The last, the last time, time I, I danced... danced. Was, was I dance last Saturday? Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Last Saturday. Es donde ustedes, ya cuando contestaron eso, pueden agregar más información. Ahí puedes decir, I went to 40 y 20, por ejemplo. I danced two hours. I danced for two hours. Y ahí es donde ustedes van tratando de expandir su vocabulario. Ok. Ok. okay. All right, very good. Give it a try. I'll be right back. Let me check on the other group. Yes. No, ya no. Yes, Tina, come on. Preguntame la primera, por favor. Son cuestiones de aprendizaje. Es motivo de aprendizaje. Vamos a enseñar. Es correcto. <laughs> okay, eh, Mar, eh, Xiomara, I have mm -hmm. a question for you. Eh, when was the last time you had vacation? I don't remember. Mm. Eh, <laughs> no, no. The last, my last vacation was in August. 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 You, the ultima, you fell. The last, the last question. Ah, fell. ah, ok, fell. ok, ok, ok. Let me oh. see. The last time you fell, la última vez que se cayeron. Ajá, ajá. Agreguen, ah. agreguen más información, guys. Fell. Eh, the last time you fell. 
The last time I fell was one year ago. Y ahí ocupamos el presente simple. Me caí en el colegio. I fell at school. Fue embarazoso. It was embarrassing. Traten de expresarse un poquito más. Ok. Ir la mía extra. Ok. Eh, the last time that I fell, eh, it was on the last month I, I, I stay in the park and I... I rolling, blading, and I fell. Estaba patinando y me caí. I was, I was rollerblading. Uh -huh. I was rollerblading. And I, I fell. To, I used to skate, but in a skateboard, not in rollerblades. No, a rollerblade. All right, fantastic. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. Cool, guys, continue. Okay. Uh, uh, Gio. Uh, when was the last time uh, you take a bus? You took I take a bus. Took a bus. Mm -hmm. I took a bus like this morning. Um, three, months, <laughs> three months ago. <laughs> yeah, three months ago. It was almost new because I had very, very times. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> and yes. Um, okay. When was the last time you lost money, George? Oh, last money. Uh, I, I don't lost money. <laughs> <laughs> money, money. Say, say money every, every time. <laughs> How do you yeah. say you nunca he perdido dinero? I never, I, never, I never lost money. I never lost money. I never lost money because I don't have money. Because <laughs> <laughs> I never take <don't> money. <laughs> I save money for change my my car. Okay, good, good. I save money to change my car. Good, to good. Change. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Excelente, guys. So, sí, estamos hablando. Good. Continue. <laughs> Okay, William. Tell me. When was the last time you had court? Had your high court? Parece. Traba lengua. When was the last time you had your high court? Your hair cut. Say mm -hmm. your, your mm -hmm. hair cut. Hair cut. Hair cut. Hair cut. Well, Repeat me, please. <laughs> Me costó y hay que repetir. <laughs> <laughs> when, was the, when was the last time you had your hair cut? Haircut. 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 Your, your hair cut. También pueden, hair cut. pueden decir, and this is another way of saying it, when was the last time you had your hair done? When was the last time you had your hair done? Porque en general no nos lo cortamos solo, vamos a algún lugar. Uh, yes. <laughs> Generalmente. Uh -huh. the, the last time was, uh, the last month was, was a Sunday because it's the only day I have free Sunday. <laughs> okay. Um, Xiomara, uh -huh. <laughs> when was the last time you ate pupusas? Good. <gasps> I eat pupusas. A I ate, ate. ate pupusas. And Good. this diner, <laughs> I cooked pupusas for me. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Delicious. You're doing, you're doing a great job. I'm going to check. Uh, no, we... <laughs> the bye. Bye. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Todos están en pasado, creo. Ah, mm -hmm. Sí. El pasado. How? Oh.
pero porque el auxiliar bueno. va en pasado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero si fuera did, entonces el verbo va a ir en presente. En la forma. Ajá. Exacto. exacto, exacto. Correct. Vaya, ya vino. Mire. <risa> <risa> es que yo no veo cuando llegan porque estoy viendo la, el, el, el WhatsApp. Vaya. Eh, oiga, oiga cómo lo estábamos haciendo y, y nos corrige si estaba bien. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. eh, por ejemplo, una pregunta eh, sería, when was the last time? No, pero no esa no. no vamos a enchurar más. Esta. When was the last time you went on a date? Okay. Entonces la respuesta sería, the last time I went on a date. Eh, was last week. Fantastic. Exactly. That's ah. the way it is. Okay. Ah, yeah. pues no andamos yeah. tan yeah. perdidos. Yeah. No andamos tan mal. Good. Ah, pues ya. Okay. Mm -hmm. The last time I went on the date was last week. Y ahí pueden dar más información. I went to, to Chapultepec Bar and I got hit on the face. Mm -hmm. okay. And you just add more information. Y when on, eh, uniéndolo es when on. 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 When <laughs> okay, uh, when was the last time you had a party? Time. Yeah, this time. Time. La M, time. When time. was the, the last time you had a party? Good. The last time I had a party was, was last weekend. Okay, very good. More information now. I went to the Pueblo Viejo. Ok, I went to Pueblo Viejo. El niño se necesita porque es un nombre propio. I went. I went. Tecle. No sé cómo se dice cervecería. Bueno, no sé si el nombre así es cervecería tecleña. You can say tecleña brewery. Brewery. Cervecería brewery. ¿Cómo? Brewery. La puede, la puede eh, taipear por favor en el grupo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Brewery. 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 Cervecería. Vaya, el problema es que yo mañana no voy temprano porque voy para la frontera. Entonces, voy a estar allá temprano y no voy a ir como a las 9 o 10. Sí. I'm looking for the chat. Hi. Here it is. Brewery. All right, continue, guys. Don't stop. That's the vocabulary. Okay. Mm. Me perdí. ¿Qué están haciendo? Eh, Solo practicando. Lo mismo. Ah. Ah, okay. Hagamos una y una y así. There you go. Vamos okay. rotando. Uh -huh. ¿Quién, ¿quién, ¿Quién es el primero? Mike. Ok. Yesenia. Uh -huh. When was the last time you had your hair cut? Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuál preguntaste? Hair cut. Hair cut. Cut. Have your hair cut. Ah, ya la vi, ya la vi. Uh -huh. Ah, ya. Este, the last time I had uh, my hair cut. Cut. La hair sería cut. cut. Okay. The last time I had my hair cut uh -huh. uh, was, uh, was uh, one year ago. One year ago. One year. One year ago. There you go. One year ago. Y aquí la respuesta puede ser correcta. I was 
Austria was a few years ago. No sería the last time. No, so eh, cuando ya dice va the last time, uh, uh, when the last time I had haircut, my no. haircut uh, was a few years ago. Yes, you can. Excellent. The last okay. time I had my hair cut was a few years ago. Correct. Hair cut. Uh -huh. Was a few years ago. Okay. Ahora yo. Um, es que no miro quiénes están. ¿Quiénes están? ¿Quiénes faltan? Ahí no. Yo. Laura y Anira. Okay, Laura. Este. When was the last time you bought, bought a CD? Mm. The last time I bought a CD uh -huh. was um, two years ago. There you go. More information now. ¿Qué compró? ¿A dónde? Um, uh, it was when I bought in Simon. Okay, and what CD? Uh, you can say, for Luis example, Miguel. oh, okay, very good. I bought a Luis Miguel CD at Simon. I bought mm -hmm. Luis Miguel CDs in Simon. There you go, there oh. you go. All the right. pronunciation, the boat is boat. But. Or boat. But. But. Okay. Si decimos boat, ya estamos diciendo bote. Boat. Entonces, I bought. bought. Correct. Mm -hmm. I bought. Mm -hmm. All right, the next one. Remember, practice makes perfect. Jorge. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you traveled by train? So... By train, that's a difficult question. Uh, in, um, aquí estoy buscando la respuesta porque nunca he viajado en tren. Okay, so yeah. what no, you no use? Puedes, hi, I have ne ah, no, vea, no, puedo okay. decir. no, yes, you can. Yes, uh, you can. I have oh, never. Good job. Good job, Bea. That's exactly the question. Mm -hmm. I was never, I was never traveling in train. I have never. I have never. I have never I have traveled a train. By train. By train. Mm -hmm. I have never traveled by train. Now, el hecho que nos, que nos pregunten en simple, en simple past no significa que tengamos que contestar en simple past si no es cierto. Ok. So, yo nunca he viajado en tren. Eso es directamente... Present perfect. I have never, because we use present perfect to talk about the experience, right? And if your experience is zero, I have never traveled by train. Okay. Y también veo la debilidad que tengo porque tengo que pensar, comenzar a aprender a mezclar los tiempos. Porque there you go. Está, me estoy muy tropicalizando que si veo un tema, pienso que ya tengo que seguir la línea de tiempo en la que voy a responder. Exacto. Ya tengo, ya tengo que comenzar a hacer el mismo tiempo porque creo que para ahí donde vamos ya. There you go. That's why I wanted to have it like conversational. Que sea todo con pura conversación. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y se right. puede decir, I haven't traveled by train. Yes, ma'am. Exactly, you can. Ahí son dos. I have never... Porque have es positivo, el never negativo. O I haven't. Cualquiera uh -huh, de las They are both correct. Now, I have never no es, ¿cómo les puedo decir? I haven't no es la abreviación de I have never. Mm -hmm. I haven't es la abreviación de I have not. I had not. Okay. Uh -huh. Yo no he viajado por tren. Exactly. Exactly. Yo no he viajado por tren. All right. Very good. So we are almost, almost done with this activity. Do you have a question? 
or do you have more questions about simple past? Porque aquí lo estamos mezclando ambos. Mm -hmm. Simple past con el verbo to be y simple past con todos los otros verbos. Mm. Uh -huh. Bueno, creo que en mi caso las la preguntas que tengo eh, me tocaría que mejor ponerme a practicar, mm. hacerme las, uh -huh. para que las vaya puliendo, porque aquí por lo que puedo ver es pura falta de, de práctica. Correct. Uh -huh. That, that's exactly it. Okay. All right. So, no more questions. Ya veo que se les acabó la gasolina. It's only Thursday, guys. I have a sleep. I am sleepy. You're going to have time. Ya van a tener tiempo. In the meantime, let's continue. When was the last time you was slept? Yeah, perdón, perdón. When was the last time you slept early? Ah, eh, yes. mira. ¿Cuál era? When was the last time you went, you slept early? Yes. That would be que, que te fuiste a dormir temprano. Correcto. Okay. When was the last time? Good question. Me gusta que tengan esa iniciativa. Okay. When was the last time you went to bed early? To I bed. went mm. to bed early two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. No, sería the last time, no? The last time I... The last time. Oh, no. Yeah, you can say that. I mean, remember that you have options. Ustedes tienen los planos. Pueden hacer la respuesta larga, que es la que Yesenia está mencionando, o pueden hacer la respuesta corta. Mm -hmm. The last time I went to bed early was two weeks ago. Esa es la larga y está bien para practicar. O si no, podemos decir... Last week. I went to bed early last week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, with this one, guys, is as Jorge is mentioning, is practice, practice, practice. That's it. Okay. Practice, practice, mm -hmm. practice. All right? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, let me, we're going to close it in a few minutes, all right? Make sure that you go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Ahí está, no nos olvidaron. ¿Estás hablando de mí? Sí. Nos olvidaron. Yeah, for uh, The thing is that I was, I was answering a lot of questions in the other group. Estaba contestando varias preguntas en el otro grupo y no es que los haya olvidado, sino que tengo que dividirme. Okay. All right, guys, do you have any question with this topic before we go back to the main room? Uh, yeah. Only vocabulary for answer. Yeah. <laughs> answer long, large. long answers, correct. Long answers, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Long answers. Now, remember, it is very important. Even though you're not in class, aunque no estén en clases, vocabulario. Yeah. Canciones, películas, series. Libros. libros también is very complete all right so no questions so we can go back to the main one to the main session yes go back no all right let's go back let's go back Alrighty, guys. So I got a couple of you now. All right. In the meantime, guys, let me tell you that simple past is one of the most complicated, or not complicated, but you do need a lot of practice. Okay. So you can actually master it. Para que lo puedan ocupar bien, simple past, tienen que memorizarse verbos y practicar, 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 practicar. All right. 
perfect. So, guys, any question before I let you go? ¿Alguna pregunta antes que los deje ir? La lista que nos iba a enviar de palabras. Ah, es cierto. No, yeah. All right. Vamos a hacer algo. Um, le estaba explicando la, uh, temprano que no pude con continuar con, con la clase de la pronunciación por motivos uh -huh. de contenido. Okay. Así que lo voy a hacer por WhatsApp. Por WhatsApp les voy a mandar el, el archivo y también por WhatsApp les voy a mandar un audio. Okay. Esto traten ustedes de seguirlo lo más que puedan. All right. Now, All right. any question, comment? ¿Qué les ha parecido el, el aprendizaje? ¿Sienten que han aprendiz, aprendido algo? Sí. Excelente. Yeah. Okay. Yes, excellent. Now, remember, it's not about the academy, no es acerca de la academia, no es acerca de la institución, del maestro, es acerca de ustedes. All right. Nosotros estamos aquí para moderar, nosotros estamos aquí para guiar, para ayudar, pero nosotros no podemos conseguir una USB y, e insertar el conocimiento. So, los héroes serían ustedes y también los culpables, si no aprenden, It's a matter of taking ownership, tomar la responsabilidad y hacer lo que pase. Ok. Very good. Okay. So, espero que se queden con ese pensamiento, guys. Todo está en sus manos. Ok. Anything else? Okay. Before? Questions, comments? We are the survivor. You are the survivor. <laughs> That's right. So, Xiomara, thank you very much. Roxy, thank you. Carlos, Bea, Jorge, Marcela, Yanira, Jorge Alberto, and Gio. Ha sido un placer para mí haber estado con ustedes en este módulo. Espero que por favor sigan con su aprendizaje. No lo detengan porque un par de días, igual que el gimnasio, ya se siente la diferencia. Ok. Cualquier cosa, mi número ahí está en el grupo. Siempre me tardo en contestar por la cantidad de clases que doy al día. Pero si tienen alguna pregunta, no voy a dudar en contestarlas. Dentro de las próximas 72 horas hábiles. <risa> so, guys, fue un placer conocerlos, haber estado con ustedes. Espero nice que ustedes en el futuro. Ahí está mi número. Moléstenme, que estamos aquí para ayudar y cambiar vidas. Okay? Thank See you. you Gracias. Gracias. Thank you. All right, guys. So, on behalf of Inglés Corporativo, my name is Alejandro Narbona. Have a good night. See you soon. No se quemen con los cohetes. Okay? <laughs> okay. Good night. All right, guys. Bye. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you too.